Hi everyone, this is Emily with the Special Needs Resource Foundation of San Diego and San Diego Family Magazine. Today we're going to be reading a book by Stan Tequila, who's a photographer with over 180 books for children and adults. Stan's book is Whose Track Is That? And we'd like to thank him and Adventure Publications, his publisher. You can also go to naturesmart.com to learn more about Stan and all the educational opportunities he provides for children and adults. Immediately after the book reading, we're going to welcome Jack Medved, a young artist with autism who's going to lead, and he's also an animal expert, and he's going to lead us through a paw print craft with his Labradoodle. So thank you to Jack. Thank you to Stan. And we hope you'll join us next week. Whose track is that? It's a photographer. I love taking pictures of animals, but it's not always easy. Sometimes I can't find the animals. When this happens, I only get pictures of their tracks. And here's the photographer, Mr. Tequila. This animal's track is long and skinny and might loop or curl about. Sometimes it's a straight line. Whose track is that? Hint, you might see a robin pull one from your lawn. And here's another hint, is the silhouette of this animal. It's an earthworm. Earthworms usually live underground, but often they come out when it rains. Even though they don't have any bones or hard outer covering like insects, worms are strong enough to burrow into the soil and leave tracks. Pointed on one end and rounded on the other, this track is heart-shaped. This animal's hooves are extra hard and make deep tracks in the mud. Whose track is that? You might see this large animal running through fields or parks. And here's the silhouette hint. It's a deer! The white-tailed deer is the most common large animal in America. Male deer, known as bucks, grow a set of antlers every year. In late winter, the antlers fall off. Mice and voles love to chew on the old antlers, but sometimes you can find them in the fields. Small and round, my tracks are not easy to spot. My claws don't stick out, so my tracks don't leave claw marks in the mud or snow. Whose track is that? Hint, this animal looks like a large house cat. And here's the silhouette hint. It's a bobcat. Bobcats are small cats, not much larger than a house cat. They're found in a wide variety of habitats, from forests to wetlands. When a bobcat walks, its back feet step directly into the tracks of its front feet, making it look like it leaves only a single line of tracks. This animal's front paws look like a person's hand with five fingers, sometimes even dunks its food in the water. Whose track is that? This animal has black rings around its tail. And here's its silhouette. It's a raccoon. The northern raccoon is also called the common raccoon. It has a cute black mask around its eyes that makes it look like a bank robber in a cartoon. Ra raccoons often live near people because we throw a lot of food in the garbage where raccoons can find it. This animal's feet are good for walking and even better for swimming. Its toes are connected by webbing. Whose track is that? Hint, this animal has feathers and honks. And here's its silhouette. It's a Canada goose. The Canada goose lives in large families. The male and female lead the babies around, so you might find a lot of tracks. When it walks on land, it waddles because its big feet get in the way.
This animal has large round feet with long sharp claws. Its tracks are bigger than your hand. Whose track is that? This animal loves to eat honey, berries, and bugs. And here's its silhouette. It's a bear. The American black bear is the most common bear in America. Bears have long, sharp claws, and you can see claw marks in its tracks. Large male bears often mark trees by using their teeth or claws. This helps it communicate with other bears and shows other bears how big and strong it is. These tracks are small and oval and often show this animal's nails. You might see these tracks in your yard, at a park, or at the beach. Whose track is that? This animal might live in your house. And here's the silhouette. It's a dog! Dogs are closely related to the gray wolf, and they started living with people at least 20,000 years ago. There are many different kinds of dogs. Finding dog prints is easy at parks and in backyard. If it's muddy outside, your dog might even make tracks inside. This animal's front paw track is tiny compared to its huge back foot. Its large, flat tail leaves a track, too. Whose track is that? Hint, this animal has large front teeth. And here's its silhouette. It's a beaver! The North American beaver constructs special structure called dams, creating a small pond where its family can live. It spends a lot of time in the water, so look for tracks near streams and rivers. You can see this animal's track when it migrates back home. Its tracks are tiny and thin, which can make them hard to see. Whose track is that? This animal often runs for short distances before stopping to look for worms. And here's its silhouette. It's a robin. When an American robin runs across your lawn and turns its head, it's not listening for worms. Instead, it's looking for them as its eyes are located on the side of its head. When this animal runs, it's more like hopping with its feet side by side. Sometimes just for fun, it slides on its belly instead of running. Whose track is that? Hint, this furry animal likes to have fun and play. And here is its silhouette. Can you guess? It's an otter. River otters often like to have fun by sliding down snowy hills on their bellies, just like kids going sledding. Otters don't stay in one place for very long. Instead, running and jumping along the edges of streams and lakes. Its tracks are always near the water, so look in mud or snow along rivers and streams. Ooh, this is interesting. These animals' back feet are huge, helping it jump very far. If it sits on a lily pad, you can't see its tracks at all. Whose track is that? Hint, when it leaps, sometimes it splashes into the water. And here's its silhouette. It's a bullfrog. The American bullfrog is the largest frog in North America. It can be bigger than a dinner plate. A bullfrog's front toes are not webbed, but the back toes are. And then the last two pages, it discusses how big is your track. And it compares the size of all the different tracks so you can see that an earthworm's track is much smaller than that of a bear or even a robin. You measure your hand or your foot using this ruler. How big would your track be? So if I put my foot on this ruler, my foot is almost exactly 
11 inches. And here are some other books you can get from Stan. So be sure to check out his website. Hi there, everybody. I'm so glad you showed up. I am Jack, Jack Medved, and this is my dog, Buddy. He's a golden doodle. That means half breed. Half golden retriever, half doodle. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a print. This time, this is a dog print, for example. First, you'll need three quarters of water, then a half cup of salt, then two cups of flour. Oop, careful. Ah, nice and neat. This is how you add that part. Now, here's the next thing. First, when you after you mix it up and becomes very dullish, you roll well this this dough here into one half inch. That's his how much in length. Here's the ruler you need to do. Ba blam! Here's what you need to. Just had to add one and half inch. Just a little proper. Just gotta do it right. Hmm. Yes, the cookie cutter. Next, you add that part. Then you give one press. There. Now. All I have to do is put on the paper plate. One more thing. I'm going to have to make sure and be very gentle as I place the dog's paw in. Remember the motto, be kind to animals, including domestic critters and the wild animals. Yes. Got it. Ta-da! An instant paw print. The next thing what'll happen, you'll put it on a baking sheet right here. Then cook it for one hour, and then once it time's up, pull it out very carefully and leave it on the top of the stove to let it cool. That's how we can make a print like this. And then you might be able to do the same thing from any print you want to make think from any creature and also have that as a keepsake. <laughs>